This is war, son. We fight one battle and then we fight another one until it's done. What are you gonna do? Feel sorry for yourself and just fucking lay down and die? I'm not a massive first person shooter gamer and I'm even less of a multiplayer one. But the Battlefield franchise has always been one of a few exceptions for me. Playing Battlefield 3 and 4's large scale warfare, realistic gameplay and skillful multiplayer system that rewards teamwork over individual vigour was something I could definitely get behind. A multiplayer system that gives you options, unique player experiences and each rendition trying to up the ante has kept me enthralled in the Battlefield ecosystem for many years now. And it wasn't until Battlefield 1 release that I started to see some cracks. And now with Battlefield 5, I'm sadly left disappointed with the lack of ambition seen in the game. I understand the need for DICE to move Battlefield to different period pieces in the 20th century, being one of several first person shooters that tackles modern warfare. It's clear Battlefield have been trying to get that marketing edge over their biggest rival, Call of Duty, but with DICE's commitment to Star Wars Battlefront each other year, the Battlefield franchise has been falling behind drastically. Battlefield 1 felt like a nice change on a lot of levels, while also not feeling like a massive step forward for the franchise, more of a step to the right if you will. However, with Battlefield 5 it feels like a step back now, with a lack of launch content, gameplay that is becoming quite stale boasting free DLC that is just releasing the rest of the game's content on a delay and not taking steps forward to up the ante for the franchise, Battlefield just has some major flaws. I do also want to address the backlash as well that Battlefield has been receiving over the inclusion of like female soldiers in the game. Many have been upset and in an uproar about this game being nothing but social justice warrior propaganda and not a realistic war game. Look, I, I really couldn't care less about that whole drama. I have my issues with Battlefield 5 and none of them come from being able to play as a female character if you want to. If you really do have an issue with that, then you are just as much of a sensitive baby as those you are complaining about. And many of you know I'd be the first to call out legitimate far left propaganda bullshit, but I just don't think this is that. I just wanted to get that out of the way before I go too far into this video. Now let's talk about the things I actually have issues with in Battlefield 5. Now don't get me wrong, if you love Battlefield multiplayer style, like I do, you will have fun with Battlefield 5's multiplayer. I did. I actually really enjoyed playing Conquest as I always do with any Battlefield. The problem lies in that it just felt like I was jumping back into an old Battlefield that I hadn't played in a while. It didn't feel like anything new. It felt old. In fact, something that always stands out in Battlefield to me are the visuals. They are always beautiful games. So even if it's not the best Battlefield, when you load it up for the first time you are usually blown away by the visuals and effects. However, this is the first time playing the franchise where I didn't feel that way. In fact, I felt like the visuals were quite bad in comparison to many other games released in 2018. It may not simply be the game's style that's becoming stale, but the engine the game is running on as well. It just feels as though to me, something has to change drastically with the next Battlefield or else this could be a franchise that we won't be seeing for much longer. The multiplayer system is what keeps the fans of Battlefield coming back, and like I said, it is a lot of fun for a time. But when looking back at the modern warfare based battlefields, upping the ante meant building bigger scale, more memorable moments for players that feel dynamic and unique. Having skyscrapers collapse as you sprint off the side of a building isn't something that happens in these period piece games. It's something I miss, having what felt like more options of gameplay, Vehicle variety that felt effective and not totally overpowered, having weapon variety that led to multiple ways to play the same map and took time to develop skills at. Yes, on many levels that's still there, but on a lesser scale that just feels same same to me. Especially when there are not many dynamic maps that change the impact of gameplay majorly. What does Battlefield 5's multiplayer have that the last four renditions didn't? As far as I can tell, not a whole lot. An improvement in a progression system and a slight advancement in customization, but nothing that's going to keep me coming back to play it over the next two years between now and the presumable next installment. One of the other disappointing things about Battlefield 5 is the single player campaign. Battlefield 5 shares the structure the single player of Battlefield 1 went for, which is several smaller campaigns called War Stories. I actually really like the War Stories structure, and it is something quite unique in terms of first person shooter single players. However, Battlefield 1 launched with 6 War Story campaigns that range from 45 minutes to 2 plus hours each. Battlefield 5 launched with only 3 War Stories that go for give or take an hour, with a fourth that released at the beginning of December as free DLC. 
the common theme for Battlefield 5's war stories was to tell untold stories of the Second World War, from downtrodden or minorities whose stories were forgotten or oppressed through history. I think the concept of that is fine on the surface. World War II stories have been told to death and most of the major moments have been touched upon in games and other mediums like film and television. So telling untold stories is something that separates you from the pack and makes Battlefield 5 unique. However, with only having three short war story campaigns on launch, it kind of minimizes the whole purpose of what the Battlefield team was trying to do with it. Like this is the second world war, the biggest war the world has ever seen. To try and tell untold stories that are in their own way quite secluded only works when you have enough stories to really give scale to the conflict. Having only three secluded stories makes the scale of the war seem lackluster when it is so historically significant. These stories also lack major consequence and finality. They are stories of the human condition, yet aren't given enough time to build and understand the background to. I see with each of the war stories what they're trying to achieve, and if executed probably could have been great, but these war stories in Battlefield 5 just miss the mark for me in a major way, and that's disappointing. What worries me about the future of the Battlefield franchise is that it is becoming like everything else. It is not trying to be Battlefield, but better with each rendition. It is trying to play catch up and implement ideas from other franchises on what is the current trend. Battlefield is no longer trying to set its own trends. It's relying on its reputation alone as its differential selling point to any other first person shooter. I mean, Battlefield 5 is going to get a Battle Royale mode in early 2019, for goodness sakes. I love Battlefield for all the reasons it's not like other first person shooters. Now it feels like I'm slowly watching it become like everything else and losing what makes it unique. I would love to see Battlefield return to modern times in its next rendition. Return to what made it Battlefield. Realistic, large scale, multiplayer warfare. Up the ante in set scale. Up the ante in realism. Not try to be like every cartoony shooter out there. Be better. Be Battlefield.